a servant of god i am robert simon beloved in christ loving greetings we are going to consider two passages which are apparently or seemingly contradictory one against another for a superficial reading passage 1 we'll go to romans chapter 4 from verse 1 through 5 what shall we say then that abraham our father as pertaining to the flesh hath found for if abraham were justified by works he hath whereof to glory but not before god for what say the scripture abraham believed god and it was counted unto him for righteousness now to him that worketh is the reward not reckoned of grace but of debt but to him that worketh not but believeth on him that justifieth the ungodly his faith is counted for righteousness we go to passage number 2 that is from the book of james chapter 2 from verse 14 to 22 we shall read a few verses in that passage verse 14 it also starts with a question What does it profit, my brethren, though a man say he hath faith, and have not works? Can faith save him? Verses seventeen and eighteen. Even so, faith, if it hath not works, is dead, being alone. Yea, a man may say, Thou hast faith, and I have works. Show me thy faith without thy works, and I will show thee my faith. by my works verses 20 to 22 but will thou know who vain man that faith without works is dead was not abraham our father justified by works when he had offered isaac his son upon the altar seest thou how faith wrought with his works and by works was faith made perfect verse 24 Eh, see then how that by works a man is justified and not by faith only passage one suggest to him that worketh not but believeth on him that justified the ungodly his faith is counted for righteousness let me read again to him that worketh not but believeth on him that justified the ungodly his faith is counted for righteousness and whereas in passage 2 we read faith if it faith not works is dead faith if it had not works is dead both are talking about abraham one is talking about the work of abraham one is talking about the faith of abraham What the apostle Paul says in passage one seems to be contradictory from what the apostle James brother of Jesus says in passage 2 According to the sound principles of logic if passage one contradicts passage 2 then if passage one is right passage 2 is wrong or if passage 2 is right Passage one is wrong. Are both one and two may be wrong? Then there could be a third alternative. But both contradicting statements can never be right. I shall be extremely happy and obliged if your good self can throw some comment on it. I, however, God willing. comment on these passages in my next talk till then god bless you god be with you i am yours robert simon